everybody? It's Vbrix coming to you today with my city update. And I want to start by saying Merry Christmas to everybody. It's uh, December 24th right now, early in the morning. I'm making this video. Got my all uh, killing some time actually, just waiting around to go visit my family. And so. I was like, you know what, let me throw out a quick video because I've got enough stuff made. I'm just going to go through here because you've seen all this before. If you haven't, go check out some of my older videos. I haven't changed anything here. And here's my train station area with my little area back there in the back that I'm still working on figuring out what I want to do with it. I do like how it looks. I just need to figure out how I'm going to tie it together with everything but the bad guys layer does kind of always fit to me with the train yard so that's pretty much what's going on back here I consider this a um, area for expansion whenever the big city starts getting too overcrowded I can start moving this way and just keep moving the city on in here so that's why I don't worry too much about this area I just kind of play around with it I always want to have a train yard because I love trains but we will see. We'll see how far this goes. Over here we have the residential area as the city turns and comes on this way. You cross the tracks and you get into the residential area. And you start getting into the Arctic area back there. But in between is my little Christmas village and Christmas area. And as you can see, Santa Claus is getting ready. They're passing out some cookies to the elves and everybody. They, they're loaded up. They're ready to go. All these movies make them sound like they wait to the last minute, but they don't. They're ready to roll. Everybody's chilling and just having a good time. Uh-oh, except for that little kid there. Looks like he's about to get run over by a plow. But that's the little um, Christmas village and Arctic area, as I call it. And what I've done is my new area and the reason for this video, besides wishing all of you happy Christmas and Merry Christmas and all that good stuff, is this table here has grown. Check it out. Woohoo! Yeah. I've actually added two more feet to this table. It used to be a four foot by six. Now it's a four foot by eight. And the reason for that is because I'm building my Star Wars area upstairs. And I could not take this 4x8 up there. I wanted to make this 4x8 the Star Wars table. But I just couldn't get it up the steps the right way without scratching the whole world up. So in all that, I decided, you know what? Better in my city and my 4x6 can go upstairs. So that's what happened. You'll see that video come out pretty soon. So over here, this is just a parking area. No biggie. Um, I was just trying to fill in so it doesn't look empty. But I've had this before. I just had it in a different place in a different set up and I love this little area this was the little freebies that we got last year and I kinda just made it bigger and bigger and bigger and this is what it became my little church I, don't, I, I like it I don't like it it's got some really cool features to it it's got some doesn't look right features to it <laughs> I like it I put it here next to the mystery mansion what I call right now my haunted area just because it fit to me the uh, cemetery with the church and maybe that was just old church or something I don't know but that's why it's here if we look down my uh, San Francisco row as I call it I've added two new buildings yeah so the green and black one is new that I've made and the reddish 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 brown one this is the newest one that I've put in here I don't think I've shown neither one of those and as you look down the street I just love it I love how this looks here I love it and yeah that corner building is new too what happened was I was at the Lego store they had a uh, the, the local Lego store had a uh, broken box messed up box of the uh, pet shop and they don't sell it at discount but they give you 500 points and I was like you know what I'll go for it 
I've been building up my points to get my Ghostbusters in my um, the bank. So I got it. It was cool. So I, I from the one pet shop, I was able to build that, which I like it. I like it. I'm not done with it. I've got to find some pieces that go here, put some flowers, and I want to decorate inside. This is going to be like a little corner market. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I see the whys. I'd, I didn't really make, I didn't want to put pet shop, and I didn't spend a lot of time making anything. So that's what it is right now. Um, I don't know. I like how it looks, and I like the way this row looks. That's going to just going to be a corner market for the people to grab a quick, you know, food that they need, bread and vegetables and things like that that you need here and there. And then up here, let's see, I turned the bank to the side. And I added, what the world? <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. I tell you, I have friends that come over and, and mess around with my city, and I love it. I love it because I, I find things. They don't mess with the buildings usually. They'll open doors and things like that. But they, um, they'll do random stuff like that. Tarzan on the, on the, uh, whatever. That looks cool. I like it. Oh, here's my, um, street corner worker. Oh, that dude chick i don't know what it is that's one of my friends doings um so anyway let's go here this museum is here again it was here then it went away then it came back this might be where it stays until i need some more room i like it i'm starting to build up around it i put the uh, little train here i want to put fencing all the way around to kind of confine it and then put some artwork outside i don't know why the horses are there it's the last stretch of green grass they got then i turned the bank across from it the banks turned sideways and then we have a little small police station kiosk. So that's to take care of these people over here. We have the uh, fire station. I don't know how much I love it. I like it. I don't love There's a lot of things of it I love. I love this part. Um, I love the front. I love a lot of things about it. Then a lot of things of it I, I don't like a lot. I kind of have like a training station where they train from here and that kind of stuff. We have some of those around here. Um, I don't know. It's there for now. This little pet shop area um, didn't fit back there. I yanked it out when I put one of the townhomes in. And so this is where it ended up because I needed one more 16 plate one. It doesn't look too bad. I might need to make it shorter or I don't know. It looks good to me. Then we have the library here with the uh, little train stop. My school is still here in the small little playground next to it and that brings us back around and if you notice this used to have all the green road plates here let's see it's not i'm an ocd if you don't know what that is look it up those kind of things drive me nuts that's why lego is kind of good for me to break me out of that little weird stuff like that drives me nuts that's why you never see my city when it's all in an uproar and messed up um that drives me nuts and like this right here i'm missing one of my plate oh it's over there i need to change that around so those are the kind of things that, bah, anyway, you don't need to know about my psyche. All right, so all the green plates that were the road plates that were over there, I moved them over here. That took probably longer than anything I've done, moving plates, because everything's tied down to the plates. Moved the green ones over here because I have less of those, and they were perfect amount. I think I have one left over, two left over. They fit here perfect, and I moved the gray ones over there because I had plenty of those, and I still can buy those. So this little area hasn't changed. I'm going to show you the front last parking garage and then back there's a little roller coaster that I've been thinking and playing figuring out how I'm gonna do it's the uh, little play area fair circus area it's gonna turn into actually a circus instead of the fair but it's gonna have all that built in with it the big old ferris wheel huge monster and then my little space shuttle museum over there with the pier and the ocean all full of stuff. And then as you look back, you see the beach houses. And then the little train entrance. You can come here by train or by uh, bus. They drop you off and you can go straight to the fair, straight to the beach, to the museums. I should bring the other museum over here and just make it a nice artsy area. And that's that. And then over here is probably the next thing you'll see me 
unless I end up with the Ghostbusters and bank first. I've already started this area it's upstairs. Um, when I do a room tour, I'm going to show you all where I work at and all that. So anyway, this is being worked on, but you could already see the workers are there getting ready for it. So yeah, love that look. Um, I think it was a fall man who loves there. So he's got a very nice look down his city, which I think is really cool. It looks so realistic sometimes putting the cameras down and seeing the buildings from different angles like that. It is really cool. Thanks a fall man for always, you know, having some cool ideas and things. I love watching other guys down under bricks always has some really cool stuff. He's always doing always encouraging and commenting on my videos and I don't know, I appreciate those kind of things. It's kind of, you know, I'll bring it back to the Christmas theme of um, this is a cool community. It's not about who does it better, who does it bigger, who does it, you know. It's about putting our own little twist into these cities. We all have the same town hall. We all have the same palace cinema. How do we change them around? How do we put them so they'll look different? And, you know, it's cool. It's cool watching everybody do their own thing, and I love it. Hopefully they come see my city and I give them ideas. I know I go over their cities and I get some ideas. And it's cool. So, you know, sharing. That's where it's all at, you know. I hope everybody has a great Christmas. Happy New Year if I don't have a video out by then. I'm sure I'll have one right after as I pick up the uh, those big old huge modulars that are coming out and, and everything. So, Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy New Year. Be Bricks out.